So in today's webinar, we will be covering eBooks. In this presentation, we will cover several different e-reading applications and products, how to download or purchase eBooks, the general layout and controls of e-reading applications, apps and websites for accessing eBooks and audiobooks online. The advantages of eBooks are they are accessible anywhere, adjustable text size, adjustable brightness, keep your page, easy to turn pages, read aloud features, environmentally friendly, affordable, there are many free eBooks, and you can search for words and phrases. There are some disadvantages to eBooks, however. Some books may be unavailable. Books cannot be sold or given away to, for example, a friend. They lack the nostalgia of having a paperback book. Authors can edit eBooks after publication, so they may not stay the same. E-readers. One way to read eBooks is using an e-reader. An e-reader is a device made for the purpose of reading eBooks. Some examples of e-reader brands include Kobo, Kindle, and Nook. Public libraries often carry several e-readers, which are there for you to try or even sign out. Which is the best e-reader? Everyone will have their own preferences, but the general consensus from our research say that the top three e-readers are Kindle Paperwhite, Kobo Clara HD, Kobo Book Libra H2O, and sites like wire, www.wirecutter.com review products thoroughly and are a great place to research anything you are thinking of buying. Click here. Uh, and there, we also on our Cyber Seniors website have a past webinar on choosing an e-reader. E-reading applications. To read an e-book on your mobile device, you must choose an e-reading application. Some examples we will cover are Apple Books, Kindle Books, Nook, Google Play Books, and Google Play Books. Apple Books comes pre-installed on most Apple devices and is not available on Android. Has many free books, can enable voiceover, but not built into an app. Audiobooks are sold separately. About 5 million books are available for download on Apple Books. Kindle Books. It is available on both Apple and Android devices. Has many free eBooks. Many books have the option to listen to a narration and has over 6 million books available for download. Nook. Available on Apple and Android devices as well. There are many free books and there's, there is not an option for a book to be read out loud, however, and there are about 4.5 million books available for download. Google Play Books, available on Android only, not Apple devices. Many free books come with book narration and can read books aloud. Over 5 million books available for download. So a comparison of e-readers versus e-book apps. E-readers keep thousands of books on, on one device. They are built for long reading sessions, paper-like screen and won't strain your eyes as much, lighter weight so you don't get tired of holding it up. Some are scratch-proof, dust-proof, and waterproof. E-readers on mobile devices. They are built into your mobile device so you don't have to carry around an extra gadget. They are not built for a long reading session and can more easily strain your eyes. If you are not satisfied with a book or selection or setup, you can just download a different ebook app. You aren't constrained with just one. Downloading an e-reading app. All of the apps with the exception of Nook are easily accessible from a computer. All are compatible with a tablet or phone. To download on your device, visit your device's app store and search for Kindle, Nook, Google Play Books, or Apple Books. Here are what the icons look like. The layout of all these e-readers and e-reading applications are quite similar. They will usually have two main tabs, among others. There's one, a search tab, which may be inside a bookstore tab where you can browse for and download books. A second library or my book tab 
will probably be available where you can see and read books on your own. And it might look something like the image on the bottom of this, this screen. E-reader library tab. The library or my books tabs contain all of the books that you own. To turn pages of books, you can swipe in the direction you would like to turn the page. There's often also a quick bar to go through many pages quickly and a search bar at the top where you can find certain words or phrases. Downloading an ebook. To download an ebook on the e-reading app of your choice, head to the search or book app store or slash shop tab, depending on the app you choose. This will probably be in very large text and be very easy to find on the home page. If you have a particular book or series in mind, you can search it by its name or author. Many e-reading apps allow you to search by genre. Downloading an ebook. After you have found a book you want, you can download it. Tap on the book's cover to see a summary and buyer reviews to make sure you are getting the right title. There will be a button either to the right or below it, which will say get or buy or its price. You will be asked for confirmation before you downloading any book. The cost of the book will be charged to whatever card you already have set up in your app store. E-reader ease of use settings. Common features among e-reading applications include the ability to change text size as you see here, the ability to change font so that it's more comfortable to read, and the ability to change text color, which can increase contrast and make the text easier to read. E-readers ease of use settings, uh, I, mean, I mean continued. These settings can be changed in the settings menu, which will conventionally be either a gear shape or two capital A's of different sizes. Free eBooks with your library card. Some apps connect to your library account to let you read for free. Libby and Hoopla are two such apps and sites. Their icons are on the right of the screen. Both are available for download on all smartphones and tablets or on your computer through their website. Libby is also known as Overdrive. Once, the, once on the app, you will be instructed to enter the name of your library and then enter your library card to set up an account. Books will be automatically returned. There's also a past webinar on Libby on the Cyber Seniors website. Read public domain books online. If you're interested in reading the classics, look no further than Project Gutenberg, Internet Archive, Open Library. These sites let you read public domain books and other texts for free. You simply have to search them up on Google. What about audiobooks? Some of the mentioned apps and devices have books that also come with narration, but there's also dedicated audiobook apps. Here are a few to check out. One is audiobooks.com and the second is Audible. There are subscription-based pay in advance, but both of these apps have free trial options. Audiobooks.com. It is available on Apple and Android devices. You get two audiobooks per month for free, and there's access to many deals and discounts. There are over 175,000 audiobooks for listening. Audible. It is available on Apple and Android devices as well. There's only one audiobook per month for free with one extra within a recommended selection of books. There's access to many deals and discounts and over 200,000 audiobooks available for download. There's an easy switch between listening to or reading by itself with Kindle books. There's also a past webinar on the Cyber Seniors website on Audible. Okay, now moving on to the live demonstration. So uh, this is going to be a website demonstration on Kindle. So you can search up Kindle Amazon in your web browser 
and just click on the first link. Here, the, here you will be taken to a website where you will see many limited time deals for top eBooks here where you can purchase these. And there's also many accessories for, for example, if you purchased an e-reader, for example, a case and a lot of other cool stuff available. There's also magazines and other such reading options. Now, here you can very clearly see the search bar for the Kindle store. Here I can type in any book I want. So for example, Percy Jackson. Now I can uh, click on any of the following books to see which one I buy. For example, here it says Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and it is a collection of books in fact. So we can, uh, so we can uh, here see, we can, uh, so the uh, Percy Jackson books it includes are The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters and The Titan Scripts. We click on this to see now, now we see the cost for the Kindle edition, which means that you are, if you purchase this here on your Kindle, you are going to be able to read this book or you could purchase it for paperback for a slightly higher cost. Cost vary, uh, costs are likely to vary based on different sites and whatnot. Here is what uh, the ebook would look like. So first of all, the ebook would be much more cleaner without these pop-ups on the side. And it will look something like this, where you, would, where you would have a contents list and you would have, then you would have text here, which you can then read. Here, there's also, here is the button where you can customize your view. And the three lines at the very top left corner is where you can explore content. All right. So uh, Kindle books. On here, on the uh, left-hand side of your screen, you can see many, uh, many specific sections. And for example, clicking on any of these will just help you navigate the site easier. You can see the Kindle deals, featured deals, and et cetera. You can see new releases, and here in Kindle eBooks, you can sort by genre. So, for example, if you want to search for uh, a history book, you can find the history. Uh, if you can find history books by clicking on the history button, and here you can see many popular bestseller history books. Okay, so that's basically it for the demonstration.